In this graph, we're told above that each coordinate unit equals one light year. Problem 48 says which of the following values is closest to the number of miles between stars A and D. So I drew a line from A to D, and I'm going to create a right triangle. This is at level Y2. This is at level Y2, so I do know I have a line here that is parallel to the x-axis. And then I can see my x-coordinate is 13 and my x-coordinate is 13. Again, we have a line that is parallel to the y-axis. So this is a right triangle. I'm going to redraw it here. I illustrated length here from A to E as being 11 units and from E to D as being 3 units. How did I achieve those answers? Well, from x equals 2 to x equals 13 is a difference of 11 and from y equals 2 to y equals 5 is a difference of 3. I have a right triangle and so to find this hypotenuse I can use the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So on my calculator I know that a squared plus b squared is c squared and so I'm going to put the two legs in for the a and b. 11 squared plus 3 squared has to equal c squared. To isolate the c and find out the length of the hypotenuse I'm going to take the square root of this sum. So the square root of 11 squared plus 3 squared. This is going to give me the length of the hypotenuse. Now remember, this is in light years because every unit is one light year. So I have created this ratio here. I know again one light year is this many miles. And I achieved this answer, received this answer from looking up above in the paragraph above the graph. And again, this is one light year. This is the number of light years I have, and I know that because this is the length of the unit from A to D, and it says that one unit is one light year. So this is the number of units or light years, and I want to know what is that equivalent to in terms of miles. So I'm going to cross multiply these two and then set it equal to 1x. So whatever my answer is when I multiply will be the final answer because dividing by 1 will not change it. I'm going to take again the square root of this, which happens to be 130, but I can write it like this. I'm going to take that answer and I'm going to multiply it times in parentheses 5.9 times 10 raised to the 12th. And now I'm going to look at this answer and my choices and I can see the correct answer is J.